Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today we have a very special treat. Uh, got a couple of visitors today. People are, are usually on the other side of the camera for this one, uh, Scott and Valerie, and they'll be uh, showing up here momentarily. Um, we were doing a, uh, a consultation earlier today, focusing on something which is rarely thought about, but is incredibly powerful in its application. And it's something that whenever you are afflicted with this, this uh, condition, that it pinks the hose to such a degree that probably half of your your chi gets gets dissipated. It it really blocks a lot of your effective power. And uh, whenever you make a minute adjustment, it's uh, as if by magic, you get this really incredible uh, surge of, 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 of energy and effective power. And the, what I'm talking about here is the JBS or jutting butt syndrome. And what, what that means in really just very simply is that whenever you, any, anytime you initiate a movement by moving your butt laterally, even a slight bit, then you get a kink in the hose. That is the chi does not flow as it should and you are disconnecting from your root. So there's your effectively cutting off your your connection to the big chi at that point. And um, the trick with it is it's really hard to see. It's very difficult to to uh, to to notice in yourself or in in others. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's like it it's night and day in terms of of its uh, not only its effectiveness but also your ability to notice it and 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 be able to use that. You know, for me, it was like uh, as as a push hands competitor, I would. I would put people in a position where where that was the effect, where they would move laterally. And at that point, they were left with no chin, but they had could could only respond with their muscular force at that point. And it was much easier for me to to uproot them because they had, you know, that that energetic connection with the earth was severed. So the um the idea is that. You want to align your hip joints in such a way as to, to create this very smooth connection between your thigh bone and your torso. And so this is at, at the junction we call the qua. And uh, uh, if you move at all laterally, what happens is the trolley jumps the tracks and it it's very difficult to make that connection. And it's one of those things too that it once you once you jump the track, it you really have to go back and, and connect up again before you go forward. It's not something that you can just fudge it from there. It's like, no, no you gotta go and, and really go back and, and make that adjustment which luckily is something that can be done once you know what you're, look, you're looking for. It can be done in any position. It just, you have to consciously get in touch with your hip joint and be able to make the adjustment so that you're going to feel what the connection is. The, um, the problem with it is that it, jutting butt syndrome is, comes from, the way we most people hold their bodies and the way we stand. We have a stand with a, you know, with a kind of parking on one leg or the other and pushing the butt out to the side. And still point we get that that kind of pattern it becomes really feels familiar to us. And so much so that we don't even think about it anymore. So that when we go back and we actually try to release that there is an internal struggle that occurs that your mind rejects the idea because it doesn't feel safe. And so this is particularly important whenever say you want to stand on one foot and pick up the other 
the other foot and make an empty step. And while simultaneously being rooted, if you, if you do it with JBS, there's very little likelihood that you're going to be rooted as you make that step. And so even if you are finding points of, of energetic connection, that whole body energetic connection, if you interrupt it, if you break the chain as you, with every step, then you're going to have a, a uh, uh, going to have a, a problem with that. Did you have something you want to? No, you're okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the producer was paying attention, and I was <laughs> <laughs> threw me off my game. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, so anyway, what we're what we're going to do here is. Uh, explore some of these things and then give some corrections, some ways you can drill this because it takes time to make the shift. It takes time. It takes time to reprogram your body so that you actually learn to trust being able to, to move with your, uh, that Sung Kwa at, at the, you know, at all times, particularly whenever you're taking a step, whenever you pick up that foot and you're standing on one leg and you're trying to do the opposite of what we'd ordinarily do, which is to lock up. And you want to be able to uh, kind of get down and really release down into the weight bearing leg. And this is counterintuitive for, for most of us. And so it takes time to actually uh, reprogram so that you learn to like this, but, uh, you know, it's something we can, you know, I can give you some drills here that, that will, that will help you to be able to do it on your own. The, um, uh, the one thing I want to point out is that you, uh, it's real easy to go too fast on this, to try to move forward to the next thing before you grasp the simplicity uh, of this particular connection and to be able to really feel totally certain about it. And so whenever we say, uh, if I'm, if I'm going to pick up my foot and, you know, I go in here and if the way most of us think about it is like, Oh, I want to make this empty step. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to rock to the side so that I can pick up the foot and step it down and but in doing so I've, I've, I've lost my connection so the whatever we're practicing these things don't worry about the actually picking up the foot at first we want to just just get it so that you have that internal connection so uh that's the uh that's the intro uh like uh valerie you want to come on up and we'll uh so we're gonna do some stuff with uh with valerie I present to you Valerie Gable. Um, so anyway, the uh, we're going to explore this this connection here. So if uh, if if Valerie is going to going to take a step to the side, we're gonna. So let's. Uh, how about we do it this way? You're okay. you're facing there, so you're gonna take a step to the side, and and then do it. Yeah, that's it. Good. Okay. So. What we see here is, so do it again. So, boom. So, if the first, go ahead, just stop right there. Good. If the first step is to, to push the butt to the side, and notice if I push in, valley is easily uprooted because that, that, that energetic connection here. It's because, as minute as it was, there was this lateral movement of, of, the, of the hip bone. So, what we want to do here is go back to center. Is I'm gonna just put my hand here and and hold it and and now she's gonna to try to make that step without without moving and it's gonna be very difficult I to <laughs> it's very almost impossible to be able to pick up that that left leg and step out from this position and so what we want to do here is to be able to to release the hip joint so and actually get so. So do it again. So you're going, you're spiraling down. So you're feeling the ball of the foot, setting the knee, and then spiraling down. And then we check that 
and we see that she's got lots and lots of, of jin. Her, her ability to to issue force as 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 comes right, comes right out, and there's this this very strong. So now make that turn again, good, and and it's still incredibly strong. So there's no the the there's no break in the energetic connection. So if you bring the feet together, and we do this, good. So you're spiraling down. So loading up that uh, the right leg, and we have still lots and lots of juice there. Lots and lots of the energetic connection is unbroken. So what we want to do now is to make that. Spiral down, and that's it, good, boom. And notice how the butt went up just a little bit, almost imperceptible, but just that little bit there then creates a problem there. The, the energy went bye-bye. And uh, so we want to get it, so there, do it again. And feet together? Or yeah, bring the feet together, because as if you're going to be stepping out, you know, like well, I'm opening. Step out from here. Okay, step out from there, yeah, so. You want to get it that boom, good. So now we have a we have a, 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 a firm base there. Notice that that there was no lateral movement there with the with the butt. So we get nice energetic connection there. This is incredible. <laughs> I've been doing this for 44 years, and Rick last year mentioned something about JBS, JBS, and I just I didn't get it. And then recently we were someplace and my good friend Lynn said JBS JBS and I'm going what where <laughs> I could not feel it so have a session with Rick today and dots really started connecting and feeling it being able to feel it so it was it was great it was great and I'm very happy for this door to be open great <laughs> right. so the uh Getting it so that you have the confidence to be able to to now, let's say, you, you do that again, and now being able to pick up your heel and doing it. And we check that, and oh, it, colla it collapsed. Something happened. Just that simple motion there, boom, boom, and then just picking up the heel, there was a disconnect. And so being able to, being able to now, before you can make that, that, that empty step, you have to be able to pick up your heel. And so do it again. So there, good. And you want to feel this, this connection throughout. That's it. Beautiful. So now she picks up the heel and we have we have our 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 chin. It's back. And to be able to be able to, to do that. So the getting it so that how do I practice this on my own? And the, uh, the key here is you take an ordinary kitchen chair and you do it, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, that's it, good. Uh, maybe the other leg so you can, uh, that's it's on camera. And what you, good. So want to have your knee almost, almost vertical, just slightly forward of, of, uh, of, of vertical. And you, Without moving your knee, you are using your uh, your uh, in this case your left leg to to turn and getting used to the the mechanism that occurs inside the hip to uh, to make that happen. So here now, if you pick up your heel okay. of your right foot, can you move her back so we can see her feet? Okay. Yeah, how's that? That's good. Good. Okay. So now you want to pick up your your uh, right heel as you're doing it. And so now what we're doing is we're building confidence. So if you have a chair handy, try this right now. Just just put it, uh, pick it up, get up, and and uh, and and set it up this way. So th what this does is that rehabilitates tired old joints. It gets it gets you so that uh, you're using your muscles rather than the joints to uh, to do the work. 
So getting it so that you can so now just the tail. What's that? The tail. Yeah, we'll get to we'll get to that. We'll get to the tail. <laughs> so, so just try that a, a, a few times. You want to get it so that you you put your foot there. So, so try with the other leg now. Just doing okay. Once you bring your uh, your left leg back behind you, so it's like a, more like a bow stance, and and just be aware of your your hip joint there. And notice how you've gone you've yep. gone JBS on me. <laughs> my knee went too low. Mm -hmm. So right about there. So, it's really adjusting so that your knee and your foot are lined up. So they're in the, in the same plane. So you get, uh, you're like this, you get your knee, your foot are in the same plane. So that when you, you turn, you're getting this, this, this action. Also, the knee, you don't want the knee too far forward. You want to, you don't want to have it too far forward. So if we, if we see, we try that. So uh, at this point, once you just, uh, put, pull your foot back just a little bit and then bring your knee farther forward as you're doing that. And notice what happens whenever the knee comes out. And so it's, it's very difficult to hold your, your body up. So turn to the camera and see what that. So you, if, if, if you push that knee too far forward, then it's real easy for the butt to come out because you're not really trusting your, your leg because you're having to use a whole lot of leg muscle to make this happen. And consequently, we get this very sloppy uh, energetic connection at that point. So getting it so that the knee is almost vertical and the weight lining up on the inside of the foot, then we get this, 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 this uh, uh, energetic connection. And you can see it too, if you bring your arms up like, like this, right? up in front of you, if the, if you're, I'm going to push in like that, and if you're got your energetic connection right, this, these arms have, get very, very strong. If her butt goes to the side at all, and we try the same thing, it's like they, there's no strength there at all. So the, uh, it, the whole system gets energized by this very simple process. So the, uh, another thing that to, uh, to consider on this is if you're uh, if you're turning and go ahead and turn and if you turn from the shoulders that is if you initiate the movement from up here and the and the, the waist follows then what happens is your pivot point is way up here and when that happens then you've lost your you've lost your way. So you want to get that, so that turn is initiated. So imagining you have a big tail going out behind you and you're reaching with the tail as you turn, that brings your awareness down into the, uh, the hip, paw, dantian area. And so then you're moving and your power is being generated down here and as you do that, so you're turning and you get beautiful. And uh, so you have, you, you're able to generate power by doing that. If you start, if you initiate from the shoulders, if there's, and this is such an unconscious thing that, that I, you know, you have to, you have to take time and really analyze your own posture. You have to feel into your own posture to be able to, to realize, to, to get, you know, what is it that that's going on there? What the? How much am I turning from my waist? How my hips? How much am I turning from my shoulders? Um, so we got the tail, we got the shoulders, we got the. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, another observation that Scott made was really good on this is that is that your reaching from the crown affects your ability to move from the craw. So having your reaching from the crown, tucking in the chin, you get, you get this, this, this uh, ability to, the energy becomes actually quite profound. So I'm, I'm uprooted before I even, even get started there. The, uh, so we're, when that happens, you're pulling up from the crown there, you're feeling into the balls of your feet, you're connecting up to the big chi, and suddenly there's your your business. You got got a whole lot of 
whole lot of juice there. Um, cool. Uh, anything else that we? Well, for me, um, I've always been deep, okay, bent deeply in my knees. And although my knees haven't really gone beyond my toes, that was still coming down. And after he gave us this practice today, while I was doing it, I could now I could feel my butt going out when I would go down deeper in my knees. So until I've practiced this enough, I ain't going down deeper in my knees because I'm not ready for that. Uh, and, you know, so all of these pieces put together were light bulbs going off and aha, aha, aha. And uh, really feeling it. And that's yeah, well, great because I couldn't feel, I could not feel the JBS. I could not feel it. But after what, five, 10 minutes of doing stuff and then standing off the side and practicing, I could feel just coming down an inch my butt's out. Great. So that's tremendous. Terrific. Great. Good. Uh, I think that, uh, yeah. good. Thank you. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So, uh, you know, Valerie's point about not uh, you know, not pushing the knee up too far is really really important here, and uh, you know it doesn't mean you can't do low postures. It just means that you want to set the set the leg so that it is providing you maximum support, and this is great for rehabilitating your knees because if you uh, if you're if your knee, and you, just try it right now. Just, just stand up and, and just, just start with your knee locked and, and feel that, that, just kind of put your weight into that leg. Now push your knee out a little bit, just so it's just slightly forward of, of, of straight. And just feel into that, how, how stable that feels. Now push it out another inch and just notice what's happening in your leg as you do that, as you do that. And then push it out a little farther, go down and push your knee out a little farther as you do that. And just notice the, the tension that goes into your body as you do that. So then bring your knee back and set that up. So, so you have it just, just slightly forward of vertical. So from this, though, you can go down and as you learn to trust your 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 leg, you can get lower and lower if your if the form that you're doing demands it. But you're you're having this the knee is not is not uh, uh, challenged at all by this posture. It's my leg. I certainly feel the the load going into my my uh, my quadriceps muscles, which is exactly what I want. I want to have that. I want to have the muscles doing the work here as I'm going down, if I'm choosing to go into a low posture, you know, say in that, in the, in the dragon posture, if I'm, if I'm going like this, I'm stepping out and I'm, I'm going and, and I'm down here like this. I want my, I want my knee to be almost vertical as I'm doing it, even though my body is quite low in this posture. You build up to that. You start to, develop the confidence that comes from very simple exercise, you know, just like this. And you're, you're learning to put more and more weight until you can pick up your heel like this and then lift up your foot eventually. But don't rush that. Take, take your time with that. Okay, so uh, Scott, you wanna, wanna do some stuff here? Okay, so Scott's issue was, was a little different. Scott's been working on, on this too, and it's uh, uh, the, uh, I think it's really important to emphasize that this is a gradual process of getting, of getting your, uh, getting, getting this action, right? You've been working on this for, for years now, right? right yeah. and, 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 and working to develop that, but there's still fine tuning that, that can happen. Scott's got a particular issue with his left knee and that he's got some osteoarthritis there. You know, kind of the, the cartilage is gone and bone on bone. So there's some knee pain there, which then causes, sends signals to your brain that says, I don't trust this knee and, uh, 
And so it makes everything kind of bunch up if you try to do that. So in getting this situation, so uh, in the in, in getting Scott's left knee, getting learning how to trust this, so that you're able to 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 do that um, is, is is a really key thing. So the uh, if you're if you're doing that that spiral, you're spiraling down and then turning. Like yeah, and then turning to your uh, to your left, right, and so this is this is perfect here as we as we as we can see this is the butt is really right right inside the uh, inside the uh, the foot there. I push in and this is rock solid. There's the the energy is is complete total and and uh, really effortless. connected the rock. What's that? Effortless. Effortless. It's like <laughs> I can I'm, that's as hard as I can push it. And, and it's not making a uh, not making a yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. So but if we take this and move just like a quarter of an inch to the side, just that little bit there, you know, and we I push now and it's like it it collapses. And, and it hurt my knee. And it and it hurt your knee. Yeah. That quarter inch hurt my knee. So just that that little bit there, that little bit of lateral movement, it doesn't have, it's not even noticeable to most people, including yourself half the time, that you move that way. But there is a there's a, a, a choice that you make either at an unconscious or a, a conscious level to engage the uh, to 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 do it that way. To say, oh I'm just gonna slide to the side. If you do that, then you're gonna lose your your connection there. So you get, and you, so we, we get that, we, there's a, a lost connection there. So the, you want to sink and good and turn. And so here, I don't even have to push. I can feel Scott's energy from here. It's like, it's, it's really kind of radiating outward. And so the, the idea here is, is by doing that, how much are you feeling in your knee now? Not much. Not much at all. To the uh, being able to to do that, so we're using using the body in a way that is a, uh, a, a that allows the energy to move really effectively. And uh, so now we get to if you're going to say take a step with your right foot now, and this is where we we just. Uh, we, we, we get to, to up, 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 up the up the challenge level here right. Right. so now you're going to you're going to step with your 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 right foot yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no way right yeah no I'm not my so, body's so not, what, what happens my is my knee says no way no. so this is this is a really important thing to be able to recognize like oh this is not this is not happening I cannot do this right now. So it's like I'm not strong enough because if you try, then you're gonna you're gonna fudge it. You're gonna try to you can do it. You're gonna you're going to throw your body out of out of sync to do that. So what do we do to practice this? Scott hangs onto the chair, sinks down, and what this does is it gives enough stability, enough reassurance there to the body. So that you pick up your heel and then put the heel down and then you pick up the heel and then you put the heel down good pick up the heel and just lift the foot up slightly without without moving can't do it okay yeah, that that not there yet that's yeah. good now let's try it with the other leg and see how that goes same idea there Good. So, so what we have there is that without without that compromised knee, then it's much much easier to to uh, to pick up the foot and to and to do that. But still, doing it with the chair allows you to really fine tune the body mechanics that are necessary to make it happen. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Do you want to talk about the leaning forward? Um. Is that too complicated? Uh, we're saying, you know, 
it needs to feel precarious lean, ah, leaning okay. back and forth. Yeah, so the, 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 uh, your posture as you're, as you're doing this is there is a... You want to turn sideways? Yeah, turn sideways as you're doing it. So the... Notice that Scott's, Scott's posture right now is, is vertical, right? There's, there is a... You, you could drop a plumb bob from the, the crown of his head down to between his feet and and that's going to be very vertical. When that happens, we have a very strong energetic connection, right? And the uh, what what we're uh, to do this though, you need to have put your body. It it feels like you're you're, you're leaning forward. It the body feels precarious. It feels like oh this is this is never going to work. But then you, you try it and it's like, oh, wait a minute. We're, we've tapped into the insubstantiality of the, uh, of, of the energy and it's doing the work for us. And it, it makes this strange transformation in the, uh, in the body mind so that it becomes very strong. If, if I'm trying to push in here and he's in that posture, no way I can collapse those arms. If we Take Scott back just a quarter of an inch, boom, and we do the same thing, and it's easy to collapse the arms. And it's uh, <laughs> the. <laughs> this is the secret to get that, get that that effortless power. So we're not just using the 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 energy of the system, of the body mind itself. We're tapping into the big chi. When that happens. You get lined up like that. It's like you're you got you got gobs of gobs of uh, of gin that uh, is available to you. So uh, uh, anything else we had? Uh... I think that's it, Manny. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, all right. So let me just uh, see if, if people have any questions, and and we can uh, uh, questions or comments. Okay, Lynn. So that was really great doing it ourselves and we tested and it, it worked really well. Um, so thank you. Um, when I was just looking at Scott and you were talking about him being vertical, to me it looked like the top part was a little bit, just a tiny bit leaned forward, but obviously it was working, right? That the, right. You know, the um, when you, when you said looking, leaning forward, what did it look like to you? So when uh, I'm in a, you know, this camera angles and all that stuff, so it's really hard to tell, but it looked like um, Scott was just a little bit, not like that far, but a tiny bit forward from the waist, from from the waist, waist rather from the, than from the claw, bending huh? forward from the claw. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but so I, you know, <clears throat> it really worked. So clearly I'm figuring I'm wrong. So let's, uh, so we got, uh, all right. So what I'm looking for, when I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the center of the body's mass. Okay. Right. right? Um, I, not so much the, uh, you know, the, the front face, but the, the center of the body's mass. And okay. I look at this, I think, I'm saying that that's perfect what, what that is. Okay. The different bodies are going to have different structures, but, you know, this is, this works, this works for me right, right there. Uh, is that what you're, what you're perceiving or is that something that, uh, something different? No, that's, that's what I was perceiving, I think. It might have been, it seemed a tiny bit more forward, but yeah, more like that. That's, well, that's a bit far, Scott. <laughs> Claw and just really just kind of allowing his weight to settle over the balls of his feet. Now he okay. actually for just a little bit more right, by right. pushing by pushing the butt back. So we wanted to drop that that sacrum there a little bit, and right. and so we're back we're back to having the center of the body's mass being right. vertical, right? right? Okay, so, cool. Okay, well, it's and helpful. With that it, it 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 is <laughs> it's rock solid. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you had some, Valerie? Um, well, what I was going to say, yeah, it appeared that he was leaning a little bit forward, but his butt was dropped. So he wasn't really, he wasn't out of alignment. He right. smooth. Okay, good. Yeah. And that's what I was trying to figure out. That's very helpful, Valerie. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think everybody's going to, so what you want to do is you want to, there's a feeling of where's my, my center of mass on, with relation to my feet, relation to my top of my head. So right. if I'm, if I'm, if I'm feeling into it right now, you know, this is, this is what it looks like on me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a little different than it does on Scott, but it, it's the same, it's the same effect that there's the, the body is centered. That's one of those things too that you fine tune, you know, for yourself. And uh, having a partner to to push on you is uh, is is a big help. Well, and it's really helpful, you know, because I'm teaching, and so it's like some, you know, to figure out when students look a little bit off, but aren't necessarily a little bit off. That that right. sort of center bit is very helpful, right? Yeah. Um, you know, talking about that so that thank you yeah and i would say that as you're uh as you're starting out it's it's a it's a better for a little more forward than back is 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 the preference just because we tend to correct by leaning backward for the most part anyway so getting it so that you're uh, just a little bit forward that anticipatory kind of feeling there is uh I think uh, allows more energy to move than than if you're leaning back away from it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can you can cheat forward a half an inch and you're okay. You cheat put back an eighth of an inch and you're screwed. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair point. Okay. Thank you. Both. <laughs> that's, that's that's a good a, a good tip there. Yeah. 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 This is much more forgiving. Forward than forward backward. forward than backward. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, anybody else? Thoughts, comments? Was that helpful at all? Yeah, good, good. Okay, so yeah, I I find it uh, like I said before, rehabilitative for the for the joints to to be able to do that. You're if you get take your time and work on the alignment and and organize around the body that you have uh, and really learn what what it wants then you can then you can start to feel that energy a lot more and uh, then you can uh, you can expand from there um, yeah you cannot overemphasize walk before you can run <laughs> when you're starting out on this right Right. So yeah. So baby, baby steps in the beginning. Baby steps. Yeah. And oh, the the one thing that uh, uh, by taking the baby steps, the opportunity for a really high level of spiritual. Uh, what do you call it? Raising the spirit becomes possible with that. So that is, if if you're taking your time, that screen keeps popping on and off. So if you're taking your time with it, you don't have to go very far to to get the. Uh, you, know, you don't have to go very far with it to feel into the balls of the feet, reach for the crown of the head, and to get this whole body connection that, that raises the spirit to your nuan. You know, it, the energy feeds into your brain. So you get this really nice connection that, uh, that, uh, creates a, a, a profound shift in your your internal state. That screen just keeps popping on, on and off. Um, so let's uh, let's do something together here. Why don't you stand up? Put some 
Watch you guys tomorrow. We'll get the uh, this really real quiet stuff here. Okay, so. Don't worry about the screen. Difficulties here. Hold on. Don't worry Stand about the by. screen. The, Don't worry about right. the screen. Okay, here we go. The camera sees you. We'll pretend. All right, here we go. So let's begin with the uh, getting the three pillars in. We want to get the feel the the weight over the balls of the feet. We're starting really with this forward kind of kind of of uh, adjustment and. Uh, reaching with the crown, tucking in the chin. And so you're getting it so that you're having this, this feeling here allows for a, uh, you know, that, that connection, that energetic connection between the, between the energy of the earth and the energy of the, of the heavens. We're getting to connecting up to energy much bigger than ourselves. And you, the knees are unlocked. Just slightly forward of 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 locked, so you're uh, you're able to to be able to uh, to feel that connection directly into the balls of your feet. Reach with the crown, tuck in the chin, and open the jade pillow gate. Thank you. So, and relax your lower back. Drop your sacrum and feel yourself kind of sitting down. Allow your pelvis to, to straighten out, to, uh, to level up. And then just turn nice and easy, relaxing the hip joints. And without any sideward movement at all, just rotating, spiraling down into the legs as you turn and your Imagining you're reaching with your tail as you do this, so that you're you're getting this this powerful energetic connection moving from the yao at the and then the lower back there. Reach out with the, the elbows and feel open the shoulder joints. So um so we open the Jade pillow gate in the in the back. We have the this this connection. You're into the balls of your feet. And so just to uh, just to demonstrate when you get this when you get this right, you want to have this 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 really strong energetic connection. If if I go up here with Scott and I push in, and we have we have unmovable in this in this posture. It just you just hanging out there, but it is it just there. It's rock solid. <clears throat> There's nothing happening. She, the energy is it fills the whole system, and so when we're reaching with the crown of the head, imagine that there's this something just above the crown of your head. There, you're reaching up to touch very gently, lengthening your spine rather than pushing it up. So now I want to feel into the, uh, uh, let's go into the heels now. Just sink into your heels without losing that central equilibrium. And just feel into that and just wag your tail a little bit, just get that feeling and feel the energy in your hands as you do this. So as we make these connections, the more energy is able to move up the, the spine along the thrusting vessel, and it then feeds your brain. Your, the, when you move the spirit into your brain, you raise the spirit, you are, uh, there's more energy needed to, to keep it going, to maintain that brain function. Your brain's going to use up a whole lot of energy anyway. It uses about 20% of your resources 
regardless. But when we elevate the spirit, we're using even more. And what we want to do is plug into the big chi so it's, we're not having to get, we're not having to produce it from, uh, from eating cheeseburgers and, uh, and, and breathing. We want to be able to get it from just our connection. We allow the energy to move in uh, along the, the path of least resistance through the body. So we create a structure that allows that energy to move. Now we're going to feel the ball of the right foot and set the right knee. And doing so, we're going to start to load up that right leg. So you're kind of sitting down into the right leg and releasing the left leg. So just by placing your attention into that, placing the intention to load up that right leg, you're starting to fill that. It gets, it becomes the primary conduit for the chi coming up now. It is the, it is the major, the substantial pull in the, in the, uh, in, in the, the polarity of your body. So as you do that, then you, Spiral down to the left as you do. They start to load up the right leg even more. So notice how slowly we're moving in this. We're really feeling into the body, feeling the transformation that's occurring here. Feel the energy in your hands as you do this. And just allow yourself to settle into that right leg. So notice how we've got, you know, about 70% of the the weight in the right leg now. We've emptied out the left leg and now the right leg is, is doing the work. Now turn very slowly without pushing your butt out. Notice the butt doesn't change. I'm just rotating and keeping my weight on the inside of my foot as I do that. So the structure is still vertical here as we do this and just feel into that feel into the ball of your foot now go from your heel into the ball and just feel that bring your arms forward a little bit and just feel the power that you're generating by this very simple motion there you're creating this very strong field just by the way you're holding your body just by getting out of the way and removing the kinks in the hose, you're creating this, this really powerful energy field. And then turn back to center and feel into that. And then turn to your left. Now look, the left leg has still got some weight in it and that's fine for this. What we're doing here right now is really taking that baby step. And you don't want to force this. You don't want to push it too fast because you're learning how to, to really trust the energy to do the work for you. And then turn to the right. Really feel, feel the hands. Feel the energy between your hands as you do this. You got two poles there and they're kind of connecting up to each other. And then turn to the left. And then go back to center. And feel the weight on both feet. Feel it uh, shift into the balls of your feet and to feel into that. Feel the chi that's in your arms and your hands. Feel the spirit as it rises into, into your head. Into your brain, feel that that expansiveness, that liveliness of spirit that, that comes with this. Shift into your heels and allow the energy to sink. Down, down, down. Relax deeper and ah. Feeling the yin energy as the as the energy comes down and out of the feet. Thinking deeper and deeper into the yin. Feel 
really pull downward on your body as you do this. The muscles relax, the connective tissues relax, allowing the energy to move very effortlessly and effectively through the body. You can tune into your pulse if you can. Just kind of just pay attention to the beating of your heart, to the pulsing of blood in your veins. Feel the immediacy of that, the presence that you, you have whenever you do that. There's just nothing but now. Now sink into your right foot, spiral down to the left. And step in with your left foot. And just pause and just feel into that neutral posture here. The weight is evenly distributed between both feet. You're still connecting up through, through the, uh, the balls of the feet reaching with the crown of the head. Now take a deep breath into the balls of your feet, reaching, reaching up, 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 gathering, big yawn, expansion, and now sink into your heels and yin, 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 down. Feel yourself releasing, letting go, throwing away all that chi. And feel into the emptiness. Okay. Okay. Take a seat, please. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come on out here and we'll... we'll do this together so yeah so uh so right. anyway uh uh how'd that go for you guys oh, good. Good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, dialing it way back. It's it's so easy to overestimate you know, how much you can do with this, you know, and and to miss the uh, the uh, the simplicity of of the uh, of the motion there. Well, dialing it way back actually shows how much you can do with it right like you know it's not thinking how much i can do with this it's like dialing it back shows that's how much i can do with this right right you know? yeah very uh um yeah cool okay well thank you all so much thank you valerie thank you scott Sorry, scott rick maria thank you maria Love you guys. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan's been talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he may. He